Okay, I need to finish uh, the uh, clutch line, the hydraulic clutch line, before I can install the main radiator tube in front of it. Now I've got this uh, tube in here. I've got it mounted down with these uh, vinyl coated loop clamps, so it's in there early. Doesn't move, it's really strong. Um, this is my brake line behind this. I'm going to do something exactly the same on the other side with the clutch line. So before I can mount this tube, I need to go ahead and run this little tube behind it and have it poke out the back and go to the clutch. It starts with making a bracket for the clutch cable or the clutch uh, hose because it's a hydraulic clutch. You can see it just goes through here like so. And then there's a clip on there that holds it in place. So I'm uh, in the process of making this bracket and lining it up in the rear firewall area, right down in here. So when I get this all lined up and cleaned up, and I'll drill the holes in it, and then I will drill and tap the frame down there, and then this will be in place. Okay, now I've made my, my clutch tube bracket. I uh, went ahead and drilled and tapped the frame so it fits in there real good. Uh, I'm getting ready to paint the bracket. It's a little cold and damp out today, so I'm going to put it in this little toaster oven over here. I'm warming up my little toaster oven. I'll be able to get, uh, get it in there and get it dried up pretty quick. Okay, I've got this bracket in here. Screwed to the frame, been painted. That line's been already clamped in place. So now I need to run my brake line. And I made a little uh, template. I put this little piece of uh, welding wire through and I lined it up with everything through the hole. And I lined that up with my tubing here. Basically have about the same thing there. So I've got this end on it. Now I just need to feed this whole tube through the little hole in the, the firewall down here and just run it on through the front.